everybody, Robert Dumpt, founder of arttop10.com and here we are at Freeze London 2017 um, entertaining uh, journey wandering down here first person <laughs> moaned to another one saying oh I feel underwhelmed already and I haven't even gone in and the next person wandered past going if I transfer 20 or 30,000 pounds to so and so and then I just got inside and there was a brilliant person with a German accent in the gallery going, oh, sublime. So anyway, here we are. And uh, hopefully those aren't going to be the highlights of the day. Anyway, I'm wandering around. And uh, let's see what happens. Here's one of those sort of freeze uh, freaky things. Or that seems to have sort of broken at the moment. Sort of flying hoodie uh, with a sort of a, um, what would you call it? With a fan attached to it. It's quite entertaining. But um, uh, quite entertaining. And over here, you've got a bit more freaky freeze stuff. You've got some uh, uh, sort of bottles and things inside plastic. Um, wandering down here, you've got the approach gallery. There's a giant t shirt. There's a picture on the wall by. Um, oh, I can't remember his name suddenly. It's by uh, Peter Davies. Yeah, which I think is sort of. It's fine. It's 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 a bit abstract. Here. It looks in different ways. It's not devastatingly stunning. It's quite funny. Emailed the approach saying, "Would they like to go to a gallery, an exhibition?" I'd rather, of course, absolutely no reply, as you would expect. Amusing enough, you email um, Gagosian saying the same thing, and they're polite enough to reply saying no. Which, of course, they're not going to come, but at least they're polite enough to reply. And then I guess they've got loads more people working for them. This is quite funky at uh, Timothy Taylor Gallery London. Loads of big paintings, I think potentially by some Mexican artists, I'm not entirely sure. And you've got a few uh, sort of stalwarts around here, like a bit of. Um, um, absolutely forgotten his name as well. But um, here we go, Julian Opie. They're always quite entertaining, those Julian Opies, aren't they? Um, <coughs> And you've got some more bits and bobs around here. Always seem to get a few like um, a few things like these, like uh, photos with bits of cut in and stuck out. Always get quite a lot of uh, things like that. It always makes me wonder. You see stuff like that each year. Is it the same artist each year? Is it a different artist? I can never quite tell whether some of these things appear here and never reappear again, or are they always? Um, taking the same people around. I mean, it's obviously partly, I'm not sure if they're the same artist. Um, at the same time, I get the feeling a lot of this stuff appears once and never appears again. But, um, uh, difficult to tell. I like this, uh, I like this painting. Uh, but then that very much fits in my kind of style of things. It's really nice, I just love it. It's simple, nice colours, something to look at by somebody called Alex Dordoy at the Modern Institute, I think. Um, anyway, like that. Still as ever, what I find complicated about a piece of work like this is I uh, just can't quite tell why it's here. And here's another one. I mean, Freeze seems a weird, weird combination of, of stuff like this that's just like, I don't know, I don't know enough about this artist. Maybe he's incredibly famous in one way or another. Maybe I can't quite work out whether he's old or young or any of these things. Um, this was only done in 2017. I mean, I find the whole thing a weird mix between weird stuff, potentially just to draw you into these things, and stuff that's just incredibly commercial. I mean, these things are incredibly commercial. I remember someone criticising me for being a commercial artist, but I mean, these are far more commercial than anything I've ever produced. Um, but then I guess maybe that is the thing to start appreciating about things like freezers. They are just brutally commercial, which of course they are. But what I cannot find in my mind is what is the difference between Freeze and the Affordable Art Fair other than the prices and that is the question is the art better here or better at the Affordable Art Fair well I suppose it is generally better here but my question is how much better I mean is it just the size or the way it's displayed um, anyway that is what consistently uh, bothers me 
how do some people get here and some not? And is there actually something critical and reasonable? There's uh, one of Damien Hurst's uh, hamburger chain paintings, as I've now decided to call them, as they're just churned out, aren't they? Doesn't even touch them. He I mean, doesn't even know which ones have been made recently. They're churned out, bought up by people, stuck in a house, and he's saying, well, I've got Damien Hurst. I you know, quite like that painting over there. I kind of like those sort of abstracty things. I think that is by somebody called Victoria Morton, I think. Anyway, I like that one. This is one of those kind of pieces that I always find slightly baffling here, because, I mean, what... I mean, what is interesting about it? I mean, it's just a sort of roughly reasonable abstract painting. Nothing stunning, nothing not. Um, visually, it doesn't do anything for me than any other millions of abstract paintings. I quite like this long, dotty thing. And you've got this picture of a dog. I mean, so what? It's just a photo of a dog. It's sort of almost like, oh, just putting things on the wall to trick rich people into buying. Um, I mean, you never know, maybe there's something important about the dog, but I find it... Oh, yeah, it just, it's just such a cliché, some of these things, is what I find tricky. Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, so here we are in the uh, Gagosian uh, bit of Freeze. Uh, sort of strange collection of... Uh, little drawings and things actually which in a way it's quite intriguing oh god there's that awful Rachel White Reed bit of sort of cardboard thing stuck there um, you can't see any of it's by there's a list somewhere um, <coughs> strange and it's funny without a list it's a pretty good quiz this who are these things actually by I mean no idea yeah, it's by. Um, um, A nice bit of a chit chat going on behind me, discussing how much the thing is. You said 50, 45. I presume that's 45,000 and not 45 million. Anyway, here we go on. <coughs> Quite fascinating, mainly sort of drawings, nothing on the wall about who they're by. Although there's people obviously with lists of what they're looking at. But, um, Quite entertaining here. Quite entertaining. That's presumably by David Hockney. Um, that's presumably by that guy I've completely forgotten the name of. And that looks like a Hockney. Oh, uh, sorry, a Casso, obviously. But oh no, it's not. It's Henry Moore. <laughs> Quite intriguing. Quite an intriguing Henry Moore. Small little pictures there. Not sure they're by. Uh, not sure who that's by. I wonder who that is, and uh, you know, here you've obviously got a um, little Damien Hurst, it must be a print, unless that's actually, that's uh, actually been drawn on, I think, it's quite intriguing, uh, quite intriguing collection of stuff in here, very, very, not what you would have expected, I wonder what the reason for that is, quite interesting actually, that Gagosian bit behind me, um, I remember looking at the Gagosian at uh, uh, Art Basel. And I mean, they may be one of the biggest commercial galleries in the world, which should have opened them up for loads of criticism. But you know what? They always put on something quite interesting. And um, that was actually really good. All those little drawings by different artists, quite fascinating. Not what you expected, not just a big overall, overarching thing of massive Gerhard Richters or whatever. It's actually quite an interesting little exhibition. Um, really, really good, and just totally unexpected. And I get a feeling a lot of people are just buying those little drawings. She seems to be chatting about it as they're in there. So it's interesting looking at the white cube uh, spot in relation to the Gagosian one, because the white cube's far more traditional, big paintings that they're um, trying to follow off for, like you know, Chuck Close, um, <coughs> Jamie Hurst, spin thing. I can't believe that seems to be the centrepiece of Damien Hurst's spin thing. And there's always stories about um, how we sold one to some guy who said, oh, my kids made it. And the guy was just sort of horrified and some theatre director had just sold it off again. 
making a profit. Or maybe that's the point. There you go. Um, anyway, very um, interesting. Quite cute. I don't know. It doesn't always quite um, do it for me. It's um, it doesn't seem quite so arty. I suppose you could say. There's some butterflies that have been uh, murdered uh, to make a Damien Hurst, as ever. Nice frame. Here we are, uh, Gallia Thaddeus or Ropax. Seems to be a lot more um, colourful things this year, like this painting here by um, <laughs> Daniel Richter. There he is. Didn't even realise that was a Daniel Richter because it looks like sort of weird to lose the track. But um, it seems to be a lot more colour within what I've seen. Um, let's have a look at this. What is this weird sculpture? What is it made out of? Soap or something. Um, is it just made out of marble? What is it? Difficult to tell. It is just a big piece of marble by the look of it. And um, somebody trying to explain what it is to some other people. Oh, you can sort of see inside it. It's got a bit more of a sort of depth to it. Uh, big, big painting over here, a bit more colour again, Michael Vernon, New York gallery, oh no, this one is by Feeling, there we go, George or Rob Basilitz, there's nobody upside down in that one uh, at the moment, but he's obviously known for his upside down painting, oh, big painting I suppose, you can't, I mean, it's painting, painting, painting isn't it, lots of painting movement and sense of painting. What do we get if we wander down here for a moment? Uh, modern art. Oh yeah, this one's got one interruption, this one's got some uh, sort of models wandering around with legs on the floor. Um, I don't quite understand how those things, or maybe they're trying to sell those to galleries I suppose. I think you've got a bit of a uh, leak times on the wall. Strangely not um, as sort of painted as I thought it would be in, in real life. I've seen them before. It's not a sort of it's got an interesting colour scheme though. I mean, it's quite muted and it makes that wall go a bit zingy, which is weird. Um, what have we got down here? A bit more stuff down here. Photo of Marilyn Monroe. Sprint for Mayors. More photos of Marilyn Monroe. Who's that by? Astrid Klein. Uh, they've just written on top of it. Oh, they've written on top of most of these. Um, what are these ones over here? These big sort of, sort of, well, giant things you could stick in your house without offending anybody again, let's say. Um, more colour, and I suppose you can't criticise the colour, I don't think it's the most amazing painting I've ever seen, but it's a nice little bit of colour, all that's a bit sort of, there's no sort of, I'm not sticking a claim on a certain colour, it's a bit like, lots of colour. Um, who's that one by? Martha. Jungson, I think it's gone down here. A bit more colour, you see, even more colour, lots and lots of colour this year, which is quite a surprise. Not quite as restrained. Maybe they're trying to uh, actually make more of an effort to uh, sell this stuff to people. Um, maybe, or maybe they're not having as much luck telling them what to buy. I always think it's interesting if you were a collector or a buyer, what is it that attracts you to things in these galleries? gigantic sort of um, crisscross thing. Doesn't look like it took more than 20 minutes to paint. Um, not that that should be wrong. Good the Fog. I think Good the Fog I've heard of him before, but I mean, ah, oh, they're okay, but I mean, I don't know. Is that really gonna, um, is that really gonna blow your mind over a long period of time? You could do it yourself in about half an hour. Um, <clears throat> I suppose that's not a fair critique, is it? But, um, and you could whip up one of them, some big hanging uh, chains on down here. Um, a Centurion Lounge, American Express, very nice. Shame uh, you're not an American Express Centurion or Platinum card member, otherwise we could wander in there. Um, there we go, let's have a look at this brightly coloured Herotin gallery here. Brightly coloured uh, 
circle. Oh, look at that, another big bright. Look, more colour, 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 colour everywhere. Look at these two freaky things. These two freaky things are quite cool. Quite like them. A bit disturbing in real life, but um, they look quite good with the giant colour thing behind them. And um, oh, look, even more colour over there. It's everywhere you go. It's just full of colour. That's what is that? It's like a sort of fake Shimon Scully, as I'm sure it isn't. No. Um, who is it? Ben Letton, I think. It's colour smeared on. Another one. Intriguing. Well, lots and lots of colour, which is a bonus to the whole thing. Makes it a bit more perky. More colour. Look, everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, there's colour. Even those balloons have got colour in them. Um, interesting. Maybe we're having a colour comeback. Colour comeback, everybody. Let's go for it. As ever, you've got to have a few things to keep um, people entertained. And here is what appears to be a water feature. Um, quite, quite what um, it's doing here, nobody knows. Um, that could obviously just be in your, um, in your back garden. That would appear to be at Marion Goodman Gallery in New York, Paris, London. But of course, you know, without some of these entertainment sections, it wouldn't be much fun for us, would it? So you've got to enjoy it. I don't keep moaning about freeze, but at the same time, I would tell anybody trying to get a sense of what the art world's like to come here, because you do get it all in one whacking hit. And that's the fun of it, isn't it? <clears throat> to see it all together. Probably says uh, more about the fair that should do the uh, Deutsche Bank Wealth Management Lounge. And they like a wealth management lounge, not fair to um, thrown to question the um, authenticity of the art. Oh, it's just so funny, it's actually called wealth management. It makes me laugh hysterically. Obviously, by me, this is part of your wealth management. And I've just got to say, uh, this is Carl Freeman Gallery London, I've just got to say, these paintings are just cracking me up. Because there's basically just giant canvases, almost nothing on them. I'm sure they're by somebody desperately important and clever, but I mean, what in the world would you get that for? I mean, it's just absolutely hysterical. It's almost like, you know, it's like, it's like, I mean, this one just appears to be a bit of like uh, marble. <clears throat> but I mean, obviously, you can, um, you can pop these giant paintings of not much into any old house and tell people how clever you are. And you can stick them anywhere. They're not going to bother anybody. It's slightly worrying, isn't it? You're buying art to say you can stick it in your penthouse and not bother anybody. Now this seems to be the winner of some uh, sort of freeze award and I was uh, ready to be underwhelmed, but actually it's quite entertaining. And when you come into this room, the statue with uh, the white piercing eyes, the shroud and the red thing around it is actually quite, um, quite striking and a surprise. It's actually quite cool. Here we go, bit of a uh, freeze entertainment with a uh, Tracy Emin signing a book. We can actually see her anywhere in there. There she goes. There you go. Bit of a entertainment value. Um, always worth uh, a bit of celeb spotting at these things. Here's some giant freaky, uh, well, probably not actually rocks. Here's a big. Uh, a big gallery from Madrid, which has covered all the walls with things. Looks quite, um, I suppose it looks quite fun. More colour. It certainly is colour freeze day today. Look at that. Oh, here we go. Look, some swings. Some swings. Not quite sure. Not sure I'd get on well if I jumped on the swings. It's from Mumbai, it's quite interesting. Quite interesting what's from Mumbai. Um, uh, right here you've got some umbrellas, uh, a table of umbrellas, it might be quite entertaining if you were going to, um, well, it starts raining. Uh, big silver metal things on the floor, uh, there's a real dog there, I wonder what that dog is doing. There we go, check it out. Um, uh, more colour, more colour, sort of. I find this one a bit garish, but I suppose it's quite striking. Funny thing about freeze is I always moan about it to start with, but after a while you sort of 
get into it and you become less irritated by it and just take it for what it is. Here's a weird chair that's um, covered in like fur and things. It's quite frightening. You don't want to sit on that. Um, <coughs> I'm going down here. I think these are more, possibly, I'm not sure, entirely sure. I think these blue galleries are a little bit more risque. Oh, activist artist, loads of sort of uh, models. And then down here, this is from Cape Town, that's quite interesting, sort of more batik kind of things. And down here, various small fires, Los Angeles. This has got, I'm entirely sure why it's got lime trees in it, but um, I probably should examine it in more detail. Um, and down here, oh look, here we go, I think that is, is that, I mean, so that's a, possibly here is a sort of performance about to take place with a box. I'm not entirely sure, we'll see what happens in a second. Um, and a bit more colour over here. Um, I suppose this bit's more fun, it's more experimental and more entertaining. I quite like this one over here, it's a picture of somebody running away from a tank, which is quite... Um, Quite entertaining, the person running from the tank. Not every day you get to see somebody running away from a tank. If that tank is moving. Um, <coughs> uh, you, yeah, you've got more sort of. It's kind of more fun and experimental around here. I presume that is not actually uh, an area of uh, storage, but it has been designed as a, a gallery thing. Uh, on down here, nothing's still happening with the. Um, with the box performance, maybe something will happen. Um, here you've got a um, weird thing playing a xylophone with blue balloons on the bottom. What more do you need to make your day? And here's like a, a weird room. Let's go inside the weird room. What's inside here? Oh, sort of uh, closed mirrors. Here's a couple of trucks with um, <coughs> uh, tin cans on them. Um, <coughs> another big kind of colour thing over here. Whether or not you actually use these computers or whether those are the gallerists, nobody knows. Um, Antarctica World Passport Office. Oh, I think you can get a little passport. That's entertaining, isn't it? That's quite fun. That's a fun thing. A fun thing. I can't help it. My son would enjoy this more than me. Um, on we go around here. Um, art as fun. I suppose that's what we're meant to be thinking. It's just fun. Um, different, ooh, all sorts of weird bits of junk on the floor. <coughs> Entertaining. Um, weird things. See a bit of dirt on the floor. It's quite reassuring. See a bit of dirt. And um, what's here? Oh, some wooden boxes with feet sticking out of them. It's quite fun. And what have we got down here? We've got a sort of uh, African y temple vibe going on down here. Um, big sort of photograph of painting on top of it. Um, and down here, background here to the performance box. Oh, here we go, something like it's full of our sort of curtains. Oh, that's quite good. Here we go, this is from Prague. Intriguing. Look at that, very blue and white. Is the box going to do anything? Or are we just meant to look at the box, wondering if it's going to do anything? Nobody knows what the box will do. What time is the box thing going to happen? Hmm, five minutes till the box will do something. Until then, everybody's just filming the box. Uh, beating heart on a TV screen. Oh, look at this freaky thing here. That's something to give you a nightmare, isn't it? Be afraid. This bit with the uh, galleries with the green uh, bit where they all seem to be from around the world is much more fun, this bit. I think it's the Englandy sort of area that's kind of stressy or maybe the more commercial bit. This bit's quite sort of entertaining and you can take it as uh, entertainment, um, which is a bit more fun. So there we go. Uh, Paris, London, 2017. What was it like? Uh, well good really wasn't it um, it's interesting to see all those colorful paintings and as ever it's quite fun I think if you go around wondering why those pieces of work there as opposed to what's in the affordable art fair 
what's the difference? I mean, of course, the stuff in freeze is better, generally, but it's not always better. <coughs> um, but I'm just curious about what makes some things in one and some things in the other. But um, I don't think that's probably not really the way to look at it. Just got to go look at it and enjoy it and see what you think. Does it give you an overview of what art is today? Maybe, maybe not. But I think if you um, if you haven't been, you obviously need to go and see it because I, I guess it does give you some view of what art is today. Anyway, so there we go. Fun, always entertaining to go and look at. Um, does it give you ideas of what people are doing. There is a sort of certain type of paintings, I suppose you could say, but there's always sort of things like that. Maybe. Um, anyway, worth going? Yes. Um, just can't resist going to go and film. There's a giant Mickey Mouse over there. Of course, not high sophisticated art, but is it fun to film? Yes, of course it is. Oh, here we go. So it's a giant like, Mickey Mouse thing, but with weird crosses on its head. Nice. Um, here we go. What more do you need? A giant Mickey Mouse <coughs> with crosses on its eyes. Never really properly looked at the sculpture part. Bit of this thing before, probably can't hear with the wind. It's actually better than I thought it might be. It's actually, what were the giant pieces of uh, work in the, um, in the park? It's possibly actually, in reality, the actually best bit of freeze there is. This guy doing Tai Chi over there under a tree, even better. I should be doing that with him. Um, he's doing it very nicely as well. Um, oh, it's an elephant. An elephant stuck on its trunk. How bizarre. Um, it's actually quite good. Actually, football's in the air. Big bits of metal over there. Some things here, but it's um, actually the sculpture bit is probably, as I said just already, probably better than the rest of it, maybe. Anyway, there we go. Freeze London 2017. Is it worth going to see? Yes, it's interesting. Yes. Has it blown my mind? Not entirely. Probably actually that Gagosian thing with those little drawings was the most interesting thing. That was the only thing that stood out of what you expected to see, I suppose, in a way. And that was actually rather good. So, like, subscribe, all those things, please, to keep this going. And, um, sorry, I'll stop just filming a tree, um, more sculpture. But like and subscribe to help keep it all going. Um, anyway, thanks very much. Cheerio. <laughs>